Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Sides, and this course is Principles of Microeconomics, Chapter 7, Consumers, Producers, and the Efficiency of Markets. In this chapter, we're going to examine how markets allocate scarce resources. Remember from our previous chapters in 4 and 6, we talked about economics being the study of behavior uh, in the market, and we talked about the market is the allocation, is how we allocate resources in that we have unlimited wants and limited resources. And so we have to figure out who gets what, how is it distributed or allocated. Chapter seven, in chapter seven, we're gonna look at whether those allocations or distributions are desirable. And we call that market efficiency. And we measure how efficient the market is by measuring consumer surplus and producer surplus. A discipline within economics or a specialization within economics is called welfare economics. Welfare economics is not related to government transfer payments. It has absolutely nothing to do with uh, subsidized housing, um, receiving any type of government assistance. That is not what welfare economics is. It is, however, a study of how well we allocate resources in the market. It looks at the benefits um, market participants, which are the buyers and the sellers, receive when they participate in the market. Because again, the buyers and the sellers can choose to participate in the market, buy and sell, or they can choose not to participate. But when we look at, when they make the decision to participate, we look at how they benefit from that activity. That's welfare economics. It's also about maximizing the benefits seller's profit, um, buyer's satisfaction, and the best way to do that is for the market to be in equilibrium. And as we go through these series of lectures, at the end, we're going to come to that conclusion that it is that uh, the market is most efficient when the market is in equilibrium. Um, how does the market get to equilibrium? It does so by what we call the invisible hand, which we spoke of earlier in chapter four briefly. It is the point, um, it is the joint action of consumers and buyers as directed by market price. And when we talk about welfare economics in a real world sense, the real world implications are vast. Uh, welfare economics is at the heart of cost benefit analysis, which um, those of you who are majoring in management or even finance or accounting um, understand that principle. It can also be used, welfare economics can also be used as the starting point when we want to investigate market failures. This concludes our first segment of chapter seven, which again was welfare economics. Going forward, we're going to take a look and analyze what welfare, the parts, the components of welfare economics. I look forward to speaking to you soon.